it's me Hatsy and I am back with part 16 of the pomegranates. So I have to apologise because it's been about a month since the last part of this and it's just because I've been focusing on so, so many other things. But it is back. The series never went anywhere. It was just, I don't know, on a break for a little bit and I didn't really explain why. So apologies for that. But anyway, if you just saw the little introduction part where the father actually comes back. Now, he is, of course, the character that everybody was waiting for. There was a heck of drama there and um, Jane doesn't really believe that her father is very genuine. She's actually got Tommy around at the moment. She doesn't really know a lot about her father. And in fact, she really, really dislikes him at the moment. So in the morning, I think it would be really, really nice for her to be able to actually meet up with him because I think that maybe the way that he explained things just wasn't in a genuine way or didn't sound genuine. So yeah, maybe she needs some cooling off time because out of everybody, Jane was the one that really, really wanted her father to come back. And maybe when he did, she just, I don't know, was too shocked by it. But there's all sorts of weird things going on here. I don't know why Dylan is sleeping on her bed. That's really, really odd. And I actually want him to go to his own bed. Maybe because he feels like so, so, so much out of place now in his own because Pilar's husband's came back. And where does that stand with him? I would imagine that Pilar won't see Dylan as being any differently. And I don't think that their romance together will change at all. But then again, maybe Pilar's thinking about... I don't know, other things. Would she be thinking that she's betrayed her husband? Would she be thinking about maybe in the future going back to her husband? Or would she stay with Dylan? It's really going to be up to Pilar. And I think that the way things are at the moment, judging by how close she is with Dylan compared to her husband, which is nil, I think that it's very, very clear to me that she's probably going to stay with Dylan. So yes, I think that that will be the choice for Pilar. Of course, it'll be unfortunate for her husband because it's been a very, very long time. I think that she would like to know how things happened, what's happened to him in the past, well, few years. So yeah, we're going to find out about him, what he's actually been up to. But basically his story about going away is that he went and he got lost and he got lost in the alien world and he's only just got back. Time was going really, really quickly there. So it felt like it was a couple of seconds, but actually it was a couple of years. So yeah, I don't really know what to believe. Well, I, I know what to believe. I don't know what they're going to believe though. So Jane, I don't know what she's really doing in here. I don't think that she is taking it very well. She's she's been a bit off, but I want to get them all to bed because it's half 10, even though I think they'd find it very, very difficult to sleep in a situation like this. Even though Jessica Moore is finding it really, really easy to just go to sleep and just forget about everything that's happened but then again she doesn't really care because it's not her father and I think that she does secretly like Jara she's a little bit of a mean person I think that she's slightly brutal as well but that's just Jessica Moore because the whole time she's actually been flirting with Tommy so basically what happened was I think where I was at before this was Tommy came around to the house and they had some sort of romantic interaction together. So their relationship is slightly, slightly higher, which is quite worrying because maybe Jessica would actually see this as an opportunity to get a little bit closer to Jane's boyfriend, which is a little bit disturbing. And Pilar is asleep in the hot tub. So yeah, she's not taking it very well. <laughs> I think that she needs to go to bed in a proper bed and not fall asleep in the water because that is very, very dangerous and not good. So now they are all asleep, I think. Uh, no, Jane hasn't gone. So I think that in the morning, what I will do is I will get the girls up and they will go and meet their father. So now it's the morning and the house looks really, really ugly at this time. So apologies for that. It really, really does though. Now, Scarlett was having some trouble sleeping. I think she actually smashed up her own doll's house and then she was crying about it. So I think Dylan's gonna fix it because Dylan would want to be a real father figure at the moment. Now, even though his relationship with Pilar is almost 100% solid, I think that he would still be wanting to make an impression on the girls because I think that he would maybe start to feel like the girls would want him out of their life at the moment even though that might not be what they want at all in fact i think that scarlet would be more than happy at the fact that she's probably got two fathers now <laughs> we will see of course but that's what i would be thinking personally but anyway we are gonna go out i think that maybe they need to have some food before they go actually so what does jane need to do? okay jane needs to get 
up. She's gonna take a shower before she goes. So she's gonna go in there. When do I ever do this sort of stuff? I don't think I've actually ever done it. I really, really don't. I think I always skip this stuff in my Let's Plays, especially Let's Play Witches. I, I really, really do. But no, I've never done this before. So this is a rare occasion. We're at part 16 and I'm finally letting the Sims do what they need to do. Anyway, I'm gonna make them breakfast as well. Oh no, school starts, oh no. But they were gonna meet the father. What if they had a day off though? Because I think they deserve it. Um, all right, let's pause time for a second because that's not gonna work. So let's take a day off, take a vacation day off school. Jessica doesn't really need to, but Jane and Scarlett should. So yeah, it's their father, it's not really Jess, because even though Jessica would probably love a day off school, she's not gonna get one. And Scarlett's gonna use this bathroom next. It's a tiny bathroom, why did I make it that small? It's too small. And there's another one upstairs. Okay, there's a bigger bathroom up here. So just in case, in case anyone else is using this house, you know there's two bathrooms, <laughs> just for the sake of it. So, okay, everybody is fine, I, I think, I think anyway. Okay, Jane is hungry. So what about eating this terrible thing on the table? She's not, she's not uncomfortable. I was gonna say that she could eat it if she was feeling uncomfortable because it wouldn't make any difference, but it's not gonna work. Anyway, fruit salad, uh, family size. Let's get one out there. Maybe she would try and cook like a mum because her mum is really, really good at cooking. In fact, what is Pilar's skill? I thought that she was maxed out, was she not? Yeah, she's maxed out, that is insane. I wonder how cooking looks when you're maxed out. In fact, maybe Pilar would open a restaurant. Let me know if you want that to happen because that would be really, really cool. And we could definitely have some fun there. I also forgot about Jane's group because she has a group here. So she probably needs to meet them later as well. So what we are gonna do now is we are going to go out and maybe it would be Jane that would organize it. So she's gonna go out with Scarlet and she's also gonna go out with Peter Pomegranate. I hope he turns up. I hope he's not gonna be the bad father here and not turn up because they are still related. Oh no, Peter would rather not come. That's awful, that's absolutely awful. Okay, well she's gonna go anyway. She's gonna go to Hair Square with her sister and then Scarlet's going to invite him and then hopefully their friendship can change. So we've just arrived at Hair Square. So this is actually an old park that I built and maybe it's a little bit too nice for Scarlett actually. <laughs> Not in a nasty way, but I just think that this is like a really romantic place. It's a little bit odd to have a family meeting here. It's just like, I don't know. It's like bringing your family to like a candlelit dinner. Why? Just, just why? But anyway, what we're gonna do is we are going to get Scarlett to ring her father because she's gonna need to do that. She's the only one that has a contact. She has contacts with her father and Jane just doesn't have that at the moment. She's not on speaking terms with him. Then again, I think that I would be more like Jane though if that happened to me. I don't blame her. I really, really don't. She had this amazing image in her head that her father would come back and they would be happy, they would be a family again, but things have changed. Things have actually changed and she doesn't really believe him. His backstory just wasn't good enough. So there we go. But anyway, Scarlett's gonna talk about a favorite animal with him, um, Brighton its day, because that is just the sort of things that I would imagine Scarlett to discuss because she's really, really innocent. And maybe Jane would try and get on in this conversation, not just practice horseshoe throwing. That's a really strange thing to do. In the background, don't mind me, I'm just horseshoe throwing. So what she's gonna do is she's gonna try and speak to her father as well. I love this hat, by the way. Absolutely love it. It's like my favorite hat in the game. It just looks so scientific. Absolutely loving it. So yeah, I want her to try and maybe get some information out of him. And I don't really know what he'd want to say here. I think that he's just a very vague person. Maybe she doesn't actually remember him that well because I think that Jane would remember a lot about her father and maybe knowing so much about somebody, she realizes how much he's changed in those years. So Scarlett was a very, very young baby when he went. So she doesn't really know him. And well, maybe Scarlett was actually a toddler, but then again, we do have toddlers in the Sims 4. So she would have had to have been a baby. But anyway, so, uh, their friendship's getting a little bit better. Would she flatter him? No, no, she wouldn't flatter him. Discuss interests. I think that would be maybe in the right direction. Tell a dramatic story. How much would he believe about Jane's life? Maybe she would just tell him some like really unbelievable stuff. I don't know. I don't know, but I would definitely want her to build a friendship with her father. But I don't think that she would want to treat Dylan any differently now. Oh, she hasn't really got a friendship with Dylan. I thought they were close. Why aren't they close? Why have I never paid attention to that before? I don't even know. Why does she hardly know Dylan? That makes absolutely no sense. 
Also, there is a massive love triangle going on with Tommy and Jessica, so maybe Tommy will come around to the house later and we will stir some drama up. But now we have seen the father, so we're gonna leave it at that. I don't want them to be friends just yet. I don't feel like he's earned that privilege seeing as he's been away for that long and I don't know, he just doesn't deserve it in my opinion. So we're gonna go back to the house and we're gonna see what's going on there. So we are now back at the house and Dylan is in this room again. Now everybody goes into this room. I'm actually thinking about deleting it because it's overused. It's just the place where everybody gathers and it's not even an appealing room. I would actually understand it if there was like chairs and it's really comfy, but I think I just put too much stuff in there. But anyway, we are gonna invite over Tommy. Uh, no, we should throw a party. We should actually throw a party. Uh, let's see, so maybe we could just throw a house party. That would be really inappropriate. The time that that's going on at as well, like her father's just come back. Um, no, let's, let's have a proper party going on. Plan a social event, how do we do that? I actually forgot, it's, it's been so long. Plan a social event, yes, okay. We're gonna do that. And we're gonna invite some of these jocks to it. Uh, let's see, Toby, Joel, some others. Let's see, okay, what can we have? We can have a house party. Well, her mum's out, Dylan doesn't really care. No, her mum's not out, okay, she's back. Anyway, so Jane is going to be the host of this party. Uh, she's going to invite Tommy and Joel and Toby. <laughs> well, that's three people, Courtney and Tasman can come as well. This is gonna be a really small party with like five guests. Okay, anyway, that's what she's gonna do. Uh, Pilar's really excited about it, or at least she looks excited about it. So, okay, we've got some activities to do. Maybe it's actually quite nice though, maybe it's quite nice to brighten the mood, because Pilar would just be in a really odd place at the moment. She would sort of be wanting to forget and find some way of escapism, sort of. So yeah, maybe this part would actually be good for her. Now Pilar has had, a hidden secret for a while and that is Antonio. So she's not actually that close to them, but they were on flirting terms. I think that she was flirting, I think. Um, but no, she's not gonna invite him because they're not going anywhere. Like as far as I'm aware, Antonio does not exist. Maybe she just got mistaken for Dylan in the streets because they look quite similar. So <laughs> maybe that was the reason. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna have this party. Nobody's turned up yet, apart from Tommy. I think that's because everybody else is at school. It's really bad time to have a party, actually. Because everyone's everyone's out. Oh no, Tasman's turned up. Okay, so Tasman is ditched school. And she's flirting with Tommy outside the house. Really, she looks like she's flirting with Tommy. I don't like that at all. I do not like this girl. She is dodgy. She's not a good friend to Jane. But Jane is gonna completely believe that she's like a really good friend. And I don't know, I think that maybe Tasman would be drawn to Scarlett. Maybe she would see a younger version of herself in Scarlett. That would be a really odd thing, but maybe. Maybe that's what Tasman was like when she was younger, but I can imagine Tasman being actually quite evil uh, when she was younger. So Joel is storming in angry. I don't know what he's angry about. He's going straight for the bear. No, not for the bear. It's ridiculous. Everybody takes us out on the bear, and the bear has done absolutely nothing wrong. It's just sat in the corner. It's done nothing. It doesn't deserve this. Please leave Scarlet's toys alone. You know, first it was a doll's house, now it's that. Just, just leave it. I'm gonna build a wall around it or something because this is ridiculous. And has the doll's house been fixed? Yes, it has. I can't remember who fixed it. So, Jessica more trays out. That is pretty convenient. Uh, well, let's talk to Joel as well. Maybe get him to calm down because he's angry and that's not good in front of Scarlet because that might, I don't know, have a negative effect on her. It's never good for children to be around angry people like that. So yeah, maybe her sister would try and calm everything down because Jane does care for Scarlet. They're not exactly as close as her and Jessica, or at least I don't think they are. I think that Scarlet and Jessica are pretty close, seeing as they're not even sisters. They spend quite a lot of time together and Jessica does seem to understand Scarlet more than Jane does probably. She probably has more time for Scarlet than Jane does. So anyway, Jane is just talking to Joel in here and maybe she would become a little bit closer with Tasman. I would love them to become best friends and that would make Jessica really, really jealous. That might even send Jessica off the edge here. It might make Jessica think, do you know what? Why am I even training with Jane? Like, why am I even trying to be friends with her when she is just clearly just rubbing this in my face? She is with the enemy all the time and I'm not fine with it. And I think that Jane's friendship becoming closer with Tasman would probably 
make Jessica feel like she can become best friends with Tommy. Or maybe a little bit more than that. We shall see. So, I think that it's time that Jessica Mortray finally comes home from school. She'd probably end it anyway, just because she's a little bit rebellious. And I don't actually know what happens to Sims after they skip school for so long and they're not doing very well. In fact, let me know in the comments because I honestly, honestly don't know. Like, I have no idea. But anyway, so she's going to come home to this absolute mess over here of just everybody uh, being involved. Now, I think that her and Joel have a thing. Okay, they don't have a thing anymore because Joel saw her with somebody. Maybe he saw her with Tommy. I don't know. And Tasman just became good friends with Jane. So what's Jessica going to think about that? She's going to go straight upstairs and flirt with Tommy. That is exactly what she's going to do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it for here and I will see you all in part 17. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon. <laughs>